Kara Lindsay is a relative Broadway newcomer who's had the good fortune of starring back to back in two of the most popular musicals in recent time. She originated the role of headstrong journalist Catherine Plummer in Disney's Newsies, which recently premiered on the big screen, and is currently in her second stint as Glinda the Good in the mega musical Wicked. Find out how a shy, buck-toothed Italian girl from Rochester made it to the Great White Way. Painfully really, shy, painfully hairy, shy. buck teeth, and a tomboy. And watch me make her choose between her dashing leading men in this week's Show People. Kara, how Hi. you doing? <laughs> Good, I always love you? when you stop by Broadway.com. Thank oh, you for being here. Thank you for and having for wearing me. signature uh, blue. Oh my God, I blue. totally am. So I didn't you, mean you, you match to. everything around you. <laughs> I really do. Can you see me? How are you? How's life? I'm great. Back in the wicked. Back in the wicked. Back in the bubble. Yeah, I love you it. You seem to be very happy in the bubble. The bubble's a happy place for you. It is a you. happy place. I'm happy that they are willing to have me back. That's yeah, it's really nice. nice. <laughs> yeah, because now you have like a nice uh, chunk of history with Wicked. You are Glinda, of course, Glinda yeah. the Good, or, or Galinda, if you Whichever prefer. Whichever part of the show, yeah. What, yeah, whatever. It's, I actually get confused about that when people like go out of their way to say like, no, it's Galinda. And I'm right. like, well, it's both. Right, right. It's, it's actually both. the backstory. So you're of Glinda, actually so. right the first time. Yeah, you have a history. You did it on the road, mm -hmm. right? And then you brought it to Broadway, and then yeah. you left. Yes. What, like a year ago? Um, yes, Ish. I left uh, February. Yeah, right, last year. And then Carrie St. Louis um, took right. over. And, yes. Um, and didn't and she also take over after you finished the tour? Yeah. Too? So we've just been like being tag. You're it. And she's awesome. <laughs> you're it, you're I it. love her. I love her to pieces. And then you're back. Yeah. So when November. did you come back again? Um, in November. Right. Okay. Yeah. yeah, you're very happy there. It's a good. It's yeah, it's great. So I'm, it's I'm nice. happy to. Yeah. I mean, whenever they need me, I'll be there. I don't care. It's Did wicked. Who wouldn't want to be in wicked? Who wouldn't want to be in wicked? Yeah. The Glinda dressing room is very nice. It's, it's, it's very nice. Yes, I enjoy the dressing room. So you were in it, and then. You laughed. Did Carrie screw it up at all? Did she do oh, any? Did girl, no. Did if anything, she probably made it better. Really? <laughs> yeah. I mean, I literally didn't even have to bring in picture frames. I just brought in the pictures that go in the frames. Like, wow. it's all standard for every Glinda. So we all just get to enjoy it. So it wasn't really a cute. lot of work. OK, so it's not no, like you not come in all. and you have to, like, do no, the whole thing. because I'm not even like that. Like, I, I will just come in and plop down and have like a picture frame. And really? That's it. Yeah, I don't So really that makes like me wonder, because I know you bought an apartment not that long ago. Yeah. What is, is the apartment? Decorated? Well, not are, you, yet. are you at Home Goods? Okay, you need to need to go to Home Goods. Because okay. we're we well yeah, I mean I moved in by myself. I love you, Kevin. But right. <laughs> I moved in by myself because he was on tour. Your husband is in a gentleman's guide to, to love, love and, and murder, murder. the national tour. Yes, yes. yeah, which yeah. closes in two weeks. So I moved in by myself, and all of our stuff is still like. I mean, it's it's set up, but um, it's a very very old apartment, and okay. that's the reason why we were able to afford it because it's New York City. Okay. Like, there's no way I could. It's a fixer upper. Yeah. <laughs> so um, we are going to be doing the fixing. I like how you do that. When fixing you fix upping. Upper. Thing. <laughs> yeah, fixer upper. But you go to the, you get to go to the theater all the time, and you have yeah, this beautifully designed. Yeah, and then I'm designed. like, ooh, look at my beautifully designed yeah. dressing room, and it's that dressing room is bigger than apartment. Yeah, like, I've never had a dressing room that looks like that, even on tour. <laughs> What's so great about playing this character? And like, uh, you know, obviously there's a, a, a whole lineup of amazing women who have now played it. I know, that's and the coolest You're part. a fantastic Glinda. Oh, thank you. So that's much nice. fun. And, and it's really fun how people really can personalize it. That's yeah. what I really love about Wicked. I yeah. love seeing that actresses can really put their own stamp on things. Yeah. You tweeted that you kicked your head Oh my God. during popular? I did, yeah. How does that, how does that we happen? We all have our horror stories. I remember um, that happened um, on Broadway, my last contract, and Carrie St. Louis then tweeted something like a few days, like maybe a few days earlier than that or uh -huh. something, that she hurt herself during popular as well. Like, I forget what happened. But like she whacked her head with the wand it or something happened. It doesn't seem happened. like a dangerous song when you just <laughs> looking at it. very dangerous. <laughs> we should be wearing padding. <laughs> um, but I mean, we're just... Anything to get a laugh. It's really all to get laughs, <laughs> I mean, right? All, well, it's all physical comedy. It's physical comedy and like she's supposed to be very, very excited about like <laughs> making Alphaba right. beautiful and yes. you know, I mean, she doesn't look much different by the end of the song. Yeah. I mean, we all hurt ourselves. Every Glinda. I don't think, I don't know any Glinda that hasn't hurt themselves during that song. But yeah. it's such a fun song to sing. It's so fun. Oh, you'll, that's I mean, you'll the probably reason. be singing it your whole career. Like, I, like you'll be yeah. like a senior citizen doing a concert and they'll be like, sing yes. popular, yeah. do popular. Okay. <laughs> do what's what happens, newsies. What happens? 
<laughs> it's nice to have songs, though. Oh my God! It, sh so it shows that you've done something in your career that there are, you have like songs, like yeah. staple songs. Yeah, I'm, yeah, it's really cool. I mean, that's the I remember listening to that song all throughout college and never thinking that one day I would get to yeah. like play that this role right. on Broadway. So it's really cool. And I saw Megan Hilty. That was the first time I saw Wicked was with Megan Hilty. Because you went to Carnegie Mellon. Yeah, she, she was, was a, senior, a senior. You were a freshman. A freshman yeah. You're so good. Yes, I do. You have good memory. And I remember <laughs> when she got cast in Wicked. It was right out of school. Yes, it was. Right? So you, yeah, we, you, so you must have deal. seen that happen and mm -hmm. been like, "Oh my God, look yes. at her! She went right into Wicked." I know. I was like, "Wow!" <laughs> and I, I sent her an email and was like, "My mom and I want to come see you." And we went to see it, and she was amazing. Obviously, did like, she say, oh, "Who? I'm on Broadway." Yeah, <laughs> no. Was that, uh, no she was so Carnegie sweet. She's she so She's nice. The best. Oh my gosh! Yeah. Can we talk about Newsies? Yeah. Because yeah. obviously Newsies just had this incredible thing happen. Yeah. The, you you were a Fathom event. Fathom event. <laughs> Fathom events did the, uh, yeah. the the broadcast of yeah. Newsies. I saw you at the premiere, and you were going into the theater to watch it. What was it like watching it? <laughs> oh my God. You, your face was enormous on the screen. The screens were huge, know. and there were close ups. It was huge. I mean, have you ever seen yourself that large? No. No. What was no. it like? Well, I was really <laughs> hoping to have had a glass of wine before that, <laughs> but I didn't have a chance to. So that was upsetting. Alcohol but and Disney musicals. So that's just the natural. Just one glass, <laughs> just so I could at least like not be so. Oh my god. Um, I've never seen my face that big. So I was sitting next to Kevin, my husband, yes. and then Jeremy and Ashley were sitting um, to my right. Mm -hmm. And any time like, Jeremy and I are kissing on the screen, I'm <laughs> sitting next to my husband right. watching me make out with somebody else. Yeah. And it's like close up, like yeah, getting close in close. Kisses. And every yeah. time I was like, ah! <laughs> <laughs> uh, like, it was so uncomfortable because I don't normally have to be in that position where I'm, you yeah. know, watching myself yeah. make out with somebody else right. while sitting next to I, I never thought of that. That's something you've never experienced. No, and I didn't think about that until that moment. Right. How You're like, oh, this here it comes. And Wait. He, they were fine. They didn't care. It was me that cared. It's yeah. like, it's, it's normal. This is what we do for a living. <laughs> but it was so cool to watch, right? I yeah. Mean, it was so incredible. Yeah, so it was So it's amazing really cool. that you have that, that like documentation of it this. It really was, I mean, I, it's so crazy. That show has been full of surprises, you know, from the moment right. it started. And yeah, it was just a job at Paper Mill. <laughs> yeah, it and was, then, yeah. but a cool one. I yeah. mean, to work with Alan Menken and Harvey Firestein yep. and Chris Catelli and all yeah, the yeah, yeah. fancy people, like that was really cool. But then to, you know, Broadway and um, limited run on Broadway, extended run, and then a movie. Right. Would have yeah, a movie, an actual movie of it. Yeah, it was yeah. really, really cool. But getting to know the touring cast, I mean, that was really cool because it's I, we didn't really get to know them that much, yeah. but we got close really quickly because we all told the same story yeah. over and over again. So there was that familiarity, which was really awesome. And the fansies. The fansies are the reason this happened. I mean, the fansies. Thank you. The fansies, right? <laughs> Thank you. I mean, those fansies this is another thing. I, I can't wait to see that. That you know that that nightclub act you do when you're a senior citizen, and to see the the senior citizen fansies, I want right? to see them grow up too. It's going to be hilarious. I know. <laughs> and there's always going to be generations of fansies now, but right. And Jeremy Jordan is going to be singing Santa Fe and pulling that news cap right down his face <laughs> at 85. <laughs> it must be cool that you get like recognized now, right? I, I mean, know. like you, people know you. I mean, like you, when you do Wicked and Newsies, like you're like a, a Broadway star. I mean. That's Isn't that really cool when you have nice. when you real? But it's true though. I don't know. I mean, you can't do those kind of roles, and you yeah. know, it's very easy to be a Broadway actor and and uh, be sort of anonymous. Yeah. But I feel like you know you now when you start doing like the iconic things. I think like, I'm, fans come with it, and it becomes a a thing. Yeah. No, it's awesome. But I mean, to be honest, I don't really get recognized that much really? unless it's like a, a fan of the show. You know. Right. Well, with Catherine Plummer and Newsies, I do look like her. I mean, it's yes, my hair yes, essentially. You are Catherine Plummer. But uh, in Wicked, I don't look right. like her on a day-to-day -day right. basis. However, I did just run into somebody um, who's coming to the show tomorrow, uh -huh. and he was like, are you Kara, are you? Uh, he's like, I love Wicked. So he's familiar with the show, yeah. and he knows who's in it. So yeah. that's why he recognized yeah. me, but not like a- Well, after this interview, you're not gonna be able to go to Dwayne Reed. <laughs> yeah, this is that's gonna, right. This is gonna blow I've been on you up show to the people next level. With Paul. <laughs> okay, well, we have to take a break, but oh, when okay. we come back, I'm gonna find out more about your, your past. Okay. I don't know much about your past, so Yay. We'll, we'll, we'll find out when we come back. Yay.
Okay, we're back with Kara Lindsay, Glinda <laughs> in Wicked. Hi. Thank you for featuring the mug. I really like Kara, I appreciate it. <laughs> <Thank you. laughs> so let's go back. Let's let's take a, a trip back to little Kara Lindsay. <laughs> Because, you know, you, you have a very youthful thing about you. I Actually, do. we were just talking about this. Yeah. Like, like you, you do have a very, you're, you're like a, a little girl. In a I'm lot, five like years old. <laughs> <laughs> but you grew up where? In Rochester? Yeah. Oh, my God. You're so well, good. That's not that hard of a Where'd fact you to grow find up? out. Connecticut. Ooh. Thanks for asking. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> Connecticut, duh. You said that like, duh. That, you Connecticut people. Do, does your family still live in Rochester? Yeah. Yeah, they do. I'm the only one of my immediate family that's left that Rochester, left Rochester. New York. Yeah, yeah. Okay. But it's not far. It's like a five and a half hour drive. Uh huh. Or right. a 45 minute flight. So do you make that great. drive? Yeah, it's better as a 45 minute flight. Yeah. I mean, but <laughs> sometimes with flights these days, geez louise, it's so expensive. So I'll, um, I'll drive. Jeez up. Louise. That's such a Carol Lindsay kind of thing to say. Jeez. There's something so like perky and wholesome about you. Um, but I wonder but see, if you no, really I are. stifle my like swearing potty mouth. Yes. Like Didn't inside you're swearing. <laughs> was like, you're, sw you're swearing like a streetwalker inside. I am. But it's bad. <laughs> <laughs> like a trucker. <laughs> um, and you're Italian. Yeah. Are you 100% Italian? Uh, like 35%. It's like the most of anything okay. I am. Okay, but you're a real mix. I'm a real mix. So but who's my mom's so who's made a name is Papaleo. Oh, okay. Yeah. Papaleo. Okay. Yeah. Uh, there you go. So Papaleo. Yeah. So how are the Papaleos? Were you oh around God. a lot of Papaleos oh, growing up? Oh, all the time. I still okay. am. Oh, yeah. yeah. No, so I definitely like cleaned it up. So big Italian meals and... And we still do all of that. The caring seven way too much thing. about your personal life, and is oh, that all, yeah, all that it, Italian it's, stuff? It's the best, though. I this love is it. It's the best, right? The papaleos. The papaleos. Oh, that's what we say. Like when um when I go home for a visit, it's like, are we hanging out with the Lindsays or are we hanging out with the papaleos? <laughs> 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 so it's 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 so funny. But they're it's all in Rochester, very loud, the Lindsay's yeah. and the Papaleos. Yeah, everybody's in Rochester for the most part. So you were a good Papaleo. I was and, a good Papaleo. I still you, am. And then you wanted to, still are, I'm sorry, <laughs> I was not implying that you weren't. But I'm picturing you as a little girl. Yeah. I'm picturing the smile, the... Buck teeth. Buck tea. Unibrow, because uh, hairy Unibrow, Italian. Wow, hairy Italian. I get like I five o'clock shadow Italians. on my legs. <laughs> like, I'm hairy Italian. Okay, and that little hairy unibrow girl mm -hmm. with the buck teeth yeah. got up on stage. Yes. Oh, well, I was also really, really shy. So it was like painfully really? shy, painfully hairy, shy. buck teeth, and a tomboy. I played a lot of soccer and oh, wow, basketball, okay. and I wanted to be Mia Ham. Who was a soccer player. So how did you end up on stage in Pirates of Penzance? So, oh my God, you are so good. Don't I'm like a little a creeped out. It's my you're responsibility. so good, but that's really good. You're amazing. <laughs> Pirates of Penzance, tell Pirates me about that. Pirates of Penzance. That. So um, I did a lot of competition dance as well growing Ooh. up. So I was very athletic. And a lot of my friends were doing um, the school show and that was Pirates of Penzance. And um, I, they needed more tapping cops, like tap, you know, the oh, tarantara, yeah. tarantara. Okay. And I was like, I know how to tap, I'll do that. Only if I can stand in the back. <laughs> um, okay, I'll do it if I'm in the back. If I'm in the back. But then I, I did the show, I auditioned and did all the tapping and I loved it. I had so much fun. And my sister also was, really is still into Annie. She loves Annie and always has. And she was always into cast albums and would be blasting them. Okay. So I would sing along to them with her and she's even more shy than I am. So she like to get up on stage, she would like barf, but. She I, rubbed I, off on you a little bit. She did rub off little, on me. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I, I began to love it as well. And um, I started taking voice lessons and, um, and then the first show I did where I had to sing by myself was George M. I know. <coughs> yeah. I, I don't know. know that show, but so I didn't know the kid. I mean, I know, I know of it. About George M. Cohen. Gray. I yeah. know George M. Cohen. Yeah. I know, I know the whole thing, but yeah. was that a fun show? I mean, yeah, it was, it's a very patriotic show. So patriotic. Show. Yeah. Make America Republican Great Again. <laughs> yes. You just took right. that but not. Out. But yeah. Yes. <laughs> it's it's a, a Republican yeah. show. Right. And you nailed it. I nailed it. Right? Weren't you good? No. I, I, uh, I don't know. I was really, really nervous. I stared at our conductor the whole time. <laughs> it was this song called Billy. So I was like, I love the, you're, the yeah, couch. That's is the, the conductor. conductor. Down. He's like, down here. I everyone. love yeah. the name Billy. And you were no. just up there doing the words. Doing the words, singing the pitches, hopefully. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. That but was, you must have realized you could sing. Yeah, I did. I yeah. was like, okay, people aren't like uh, yeah. pl like plugging their ears or anything. <laughs> I think it's going well. But yeah, and also with the lights and everything, I couldn't see anybody, so I was much less nervous. Right. I'm always more nervous in like now in an audition setting where mm. you can see them, you know, yeah. and you can feel their right. presence. Right. It's like on stage, it's 
it, there's a safety there. Uh -huh. I, it's weird. It's like your your eye tricks you into thinking that you're alone. Right. But you're not. <laughs> you're not. That's not the ghost one. No, there's two thousand. No, you're not seats. alone. <laughs> Let's talk about Kevin Massey. Okay. That's your husband. <laughs> that's that's him. A as you mentioned before, he's been on the road in A Gentleman's Guide to Love and Murder, playing Monty. <laughs> he's playing Monty. Yeah. Right, which is a great role. Mm -hmm. Great role. Yeah. And he and he also covered it on Broadway. Yes, right? he did. <laughs> but he's coming home. He's been he's on the road, home. and and it's wrapping up next week in mm -hmm. California. Yes. And he's coming home. Yes, it's been, so once we were married, I got the tour of Wicked, so I left right. for about a year, and then came back for a few months, and he was doing um, Gentleman's Guide, um, and I was doing Wicked here, right. and we overlapped for a little bit being here, which was a dream, it was awesome. Yeah. I mean, that's what, that was so cool to get to both be working at the same time in New York. That n never happened, right. so we were like, Thank you, universe. Thank you. This is very nice. Wait, um, didn't he also play Huey Calhoun in yes, uh, Memphis? Which is like I one of my favorite shows. Me too. I was Memphis such a lives in you? Yes. Memphis lives in me. Memphis lives in what? me. What? I didn't oh know my this. God. He sang it recently for <laughs> an audition, but he was singing it in the um, in the apartment the other day, singing oh, Huey Calhoun. I, love I was that like, so, I opened I love the bedroom song. door and I was like, sing it again. <laughs> <laughs> it's my I favorite. I wish I saw him do it. Oh, he was so, I next, mean, I'm so biased. Well, next but time like, I see him, I'm going to ask him to sing a little. Oh, yeah. So, so then he's been on the road in, in oh, yeah. this Tony so Winnie musical, going from city to city. And, yeah. you've, and you've been doing what? Communicating We've, on FaceTime? FaceTime has changed the world. Okay. But I said to him the other day, I was like, I am so sick of seeing your face on a screen. Like, I want to see your face Yeah, you in can't person. like smell him on FaceTime. Or, like, <laughs> Which is maybe a good thing. Kiss him. Or, <laughs> <laughs> The smelling could be good. It could yeah. help relationships, perhaps. Yeah. <laughs> but we've spent the majority of our marriage apart. And we're like, so is this, is this why we're still married? Because we don't spend <laughs> any time together? No. It'll, it'll be so great to have you, a back. How are I'm you on your excited. own? Like, do you um, like being alone or do you like freak both, out on your own? He and I are very similar in that we're both very independent people. We mm -hmm. can be very independent and we're very understanding of each other's independence and right. like needing time for yourself yeah, yeah. or like, you need to go hang out with your girlfriends or do things right. without me, which I think is very healthy. Very healthy. But because he's been gone so much or I've been gone a lot, like sometimes we're too understanding. Right. <laughs> we're like, I haven't talked to you in maybe like three days. <laughs> Are you, uh, just, just tell me you're alive. Just text right, me right. I'm alive. And then, okay. Right. You know what's creepy about your husband? <laughs> the fake fan letters that he like what? courted you with. What? Oh, what? Right? When you were, oh, you, when you were in uh, Little, you, was it Little House on the Prairie? You're scaring me with how much you know. It's you were in Little House on the Prairie. That yeah. was your big breakthrough moment that because was. you did that at Paper Mill. Mm -hmm. And I know you did it also at I did it at, around um, the country or yeah, at three? Yeah, we, we, the tour launched from Paper Mill. Right. Um, okay. So it started Paper Mill and you got a great review in the Times. I, I read it. Oh, and that's It was like a nice, nice moment. Like, look oh. at the, who's this Carol Lindsay? And I, <laughs> and I, idiot. at that moment, I probably said, who's this Carol Lindsay? <laughs> right. And, uh, Some child. and you met him doing the show. I did. And you guys uh, got married every night in yeah. the show, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. But when you first started doing the show, what I read is that he wrote you fake fan <laughs> letters. He That's weird. It was hilarious. I mean, it's it adorable, was really but funny. it's kind of weird. He's quirky and weird. I mean, we were meant to be. Jeez. <laughs> oh my God, it's disgusting. <laughs> like, we're just both odd. So um, in Minneapolis, this was the Minneapolis version. Right. So we did an out-of-town tryout in uh, Minneapolis first before the paper mill right. and then tour. Yes. Um, so during that um he would leave like little gifts in my we had actor mailboxes at the right. guthrie and um he would leave anonymous fan gifts yeah um and it was sort of just i mean it was sweet because i think i was i mean i will always be i was very insecure during that process uh -huh. for a lot of reasons um, I had to re-audition for it, so I wasn't. Oh, wow, I was yeah. cast, and then they you were. You did like, it in Minneapolis, and then you did it in Minneapolis. Well, you actually, I did the lab beforehand. Oh wow! Okay. So I did the lab beforehand, and then they're like, "We actually don't know if we want to keep you anymore." So That's we're gonna horrible, have you. But that happens. That's it the happens actor's life. All the time. Yeah. It does, and it's really hard when you go through it, because it's like you know it, when you book something like that, they're promising you every part of it. So they promise you the Minneapolis tryout at the yeah. Guthrie and the tour. Right. And then af so after the lab, when they're like, oh, actually, we don't know if we want to keep you anymore. That's like 
all your hopes and dreams Horrible. just being like, yeah. It was like, I'm never going to work again. Yeah, it was really hard. Right. And um, so I had to go back into the audition room and audition against a bunch of girls, you know, that in right. like when I had already done it, you know, right. so that's that's really hard. But so I think I was just feeling so insecure and mm. he knew that story. So he was like just trying to boost Aww. my confidence. Yeah. And, you know, I was working in with the same creative team that right. like were not sure about me you know right. so I had to yeah. prove myself every day right um, and we always have to but it was really sweet for him to just you know take that upon himself to be like I'm gonna make her feel good about herself and she has fans even though I didn't That's <laughs> it was sweet. just yeah. him yeah it was very sweet I love it. and then I I found out that it was him but he didn't know I knew so I sent him an anonymous fan <laughs> gift to be like I see you I know what you're doing and you're cute <laughs> That's sweet. I love that. Yeah. I like that story. Okay, we have to take a break, but when we uh. come back, we're going to have a little <laughs> bit of fun. Okay. Yeah, oh, so God. So get ready. And we are back with Kara Lindsay of Wicked. And some of your male co-stars have joined us. Look at uh, my Ken dolls. Yes, with your husband here in the green. <laughs> this is Kevin. Kevin Massey. And then the rest of these men are your Broadway leading men. Uh, so nice. Who, so who do we have here? We have um, Jeremy Jordan. Jeremy Jordan. And then we have Corey Cott. We have Corey the two Cott, Jack Kellys. Yes. yes. Jonah then, Platt. Yes. Michael Campano. Yes. Matt Shingledecker. These are these are your fieros. Kevin Massey. Kevin Massey. Yeah, Kevin. <laughs> <laughs> Kevin's in the middle. So we're gonna play a little game. You guys. What I want you to do. Decapitated the Ken dolls. Just now, so you know. your <laughs> husband is not actually gonna be a part of this game. Oh. He's just gonna watch. Oh, because poor it's guy. more fun if he doesn't play. <laughs> the poor so guy. So gra grab your men, please. <laughs> just grab them all. Hold on to all of them, except for your husband. Just Look grab them all. Look at all my guys. Just hold on to your guys. <laughs> oh my okay. God. Yeah, hold on to your Look guys. Look at how lucky I am. Just get all oh. of them. So many Who men. Who was that? Matt so, just so hit manly. me in the mouth. <laughs> so I'm going to ask you to hold up. I'm going to ask you certain things. You're going to pick a guy. Okay. This Are you ready? Are you nervous? No, I just think this but is But Kevin's so just going to watch because it's more fun if Kevin hey, doesn't Kev. play. Kev's not wearing shoes. Kevin's not wearing <laughs> For some shoes. reason. Okay, so here's what I want you to say. I want you to pick out of your bouquet of men. <laughs> okay. Um, who would be the most fun? And don't don't get too upset about like hurting feelings. Let's just do this, okay? Okay, I promise. Who would be the most fun? We know you love them all. Who would be the most fun on a cross-country road trip? I think I think Matt Shingledecker because he he travels a lot. So, he, so he's good at it? Yeah, I think he would just like probably already know where to go. And be oh, like, really? Is he like, he's just like worldly he loves, like that? Yeah, he loves traveling. Like he's probably out on the road right he's now? He's probably <laughs> driving somewhere right now. <laughs> he did a cross country trip. It's so funny trip. when you immediately like did him sideways. Hey, Matt. Uh, that, that's how, he's actually your first Fiero, right? Yes. Yeah, yeah he's Fiero. my first ever Fiero. Um, right. He and Stephanie Lee, I think, did like a cross country road trip. So he's like already has that experience right. and I wouldn't right, know good. what I'm doing. All right, so good. Okay, Come which of these guys do you have the most photos of on your phone? Probably Jeremy. Yeah, Jeremy. I Jer think because of when we went to um, to LA to do the Newsies filming, okay. we took a lot of stupid pictures. There were a lot of like fun, like, okay. Which of these guys would little Kara Lindsay with the buck teeth have had a crush on in the play in the Craig in the playground? Oh, all of them. <laughs> <laughs> I was I had a crush really? on any boy that was oh, cute. Oh, anyone? Is like, <laughs> <laughs> and the winner is? The winner is the bouquet. <laughs> All of them. Were but also boy, maybe, boy crazy? maybe Corey Cop because uh, he, it was mostly like the, like kind of innocent, sweet, okay. but really cute. Uh-huh. Like he's kind of yeah, got like a, like a little more guy, of an innocent, then yeah. Like, like devilishly handsome. Then, yeah, but probably all of them. Which of these guys may you have known in a past life? Hmm. I think Michael Campano. With the great hair. With that the guy. with the great, oh, he has the great hair. Yeah. It's the chin. I feel like I've known that chin before. <laughs> I'm obsessed with his chin. I touch it throughout the show, and I feel bad. Sometimes he starts laughing. Is that allowed? Can Glinda get in the chin of Fiero? I mean, why not? She's obsessed with him. So if that's what. I'm fine with it. I feel like I've known him. Also, we went to the same school, but at a different time. So. Oh. Maybe I feel like I know know him because of that. There's like this knowingness with people that have gone to Carnegie Mellon, which is kind of weird because right. we've all been through the same professors, right. you know, okay. the same difficult time uh -huh. in our life. So like, there's this knowingness with right. him. Right. Okay. And his chin. Okay. Which which <laughs> of these guys is the biggest bro? They're all kind of sensitive. Really? Yeah, because we're in theater. No bros. Jonah so Platt. 
I That's haven't said what him. I thought. Jonah Platt is the biggest bro. I mean, he was always talking about sports and stuff. Right. I mean, every, but all of them talk about sports. Jeremy, like, is obsessed with the Dallas Cowboys. Yeah. <laughs> this I know. Isn't I follow Jeremy. him on social media. Yeah. He's obsessed. Yeah. They're all obsessed with sports. But Jonah, I don't know. He's also, like, a California dude, yeah. too. Mm-hmm. So, like, there's something about. Right one. Okay. Yeah. Jonah, okay. You're, you're the sporty man. Which you're of the them, bro. when you met, did you become friends with fastest? I think Jeremy, because. But it's different. I mean, it's not really fair to say because we went through the whole rehearsal process of yeah. Newsies together. So right. there, we had lunch breaks together. And also, Kevin and him were friends from Bonnie and Clyde. So I knew him already. Right. Which one would, would have been too cool to like talk to you in high school? Michael Campano. <laughs> he would have been too of cool the hair with that the freaking chin, yeah. hair. And like, look at his Instagram. <laughs> what does that mean? Just look at it. <laughs> 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 Period. I love you, Michael Campano. I just will never be as cool as him. Right. He's so cool. Yeah. Final question. Who is most likely to watch this interview? Oh. Jeremy, no. <laughs> he has a lot of things going he's on. He's got, he's in Vancouver. Let's yeah. be real. Jonah Platt, probably not, because he's in, he's California. in California. He's surfing. Matt Shingledecker, maybe. Corey. Corey's busy. He's doing bandstand. Yeah, he's putting new musical together. Yeah. I think Michael Campino. I've I been agree. saying him a lot. And you know why? <laughs> I think Michael's watching us to see if we mention him. <gasps> that's Michael, my, that's I've m- mentioned you a lot. <laughs> put, your, put your guys down. Thank you for thank you for suffering through that. Thank you. Suffering? This I, is great. I I pre- they sh- you know what? There should be dolls for all these guys. Don't you agree? Yeah. Can you imagine how they would... But su- this is my number go. one doll. There's your guy. That's your guy. This and he's weird. coming home. <laughs> he's coming home. He's coming home to you. Turn he's around, he has a creepy neck. Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> this is the cutest of all. Also, he's wearing a really trendy outfit. I'm very yeah, proud I gave of him. him a, he, he has a special outfit out of all of them. Yeah. That's your guy. Look <laughs> how flexible he is. <laughs> okay, that's he's all. Prob- the- it's like a voodoo doll. He's probably feeling this right now. Oh my God, that'd be terrible. <laughs> Text him and find out. That'd be awful. <gasps> Honey. I hope not. Are your hamstrings hurting? <laughs> Do they hurt? <laughs> Okay, Kara, thank you so much for coming by. We <laughs> ran out of time. I could have, we could have done a double episode, but next time. <laughs> That's okay. Next time. <laughs> thank you so much. <laughs> Go check her out in Wicked. She's in the bubble as Glinda, and she's awesome. It's at the Gershwin really Theater. Nice. Thank you for being here. Thank you for having me. Of this course. was really weird and really fun. <laughs> <laughs> thank you for watching. We'll see you next time.